The next location that I need to take a measurement from is on his tricep. So I'm going to locate his olecranon process. In order to do that, I have to physically touch his arm and follow it all the way down to where the drop-off is. You're going to have to stand behind him, so posterior. Once you find that divot, you're going to place the top of the tape into that divot. You're going to ask your client to bend their arm, flex their arm, their elbow joint, to 90 degrees, and you're going to take a measurement straight down the posterior aspect of the humerus down to the olecranon process. We have a measurement of 14.5. Half of 14.5 is going to be 7.25. So we're going to take our measurement from the bottom of the, from the electron process up the humerus and we're going to mark 7.25. We're going to make sure that we're on the posterior aspect and once we have that we're good to go. We want to make sure we measure from the bottom up because his elbow is never going to change the measurement. However, if we measure from the top down, we have a higher likelihood that we're going to be off in our original location, and now this can raise or lower where our actual pinch is going to take place. So to minimize error and to help with repeatability, we want to measure from a more stable landmark up. Okay, when doing your sights, we need to make sure that if there's a posterior site, you're either physically moving your client so that you can get to the pitch, or if your client doesn't really want to move, you need to move to get to the pitch yourself. So for this demonstration, I'm going to move my client so that you have a good visual. We're going to move on to the tricep. Again, I'm going to take a pinch above the actual mark. I'm going to put my calipers on so that it's midway between the pinch. Wait two seconds, 1,001, 1,002. We're going to take our measurement at five millimeters, undo the caliper, let go, and let him relax.